dead end, I'm clipped out. I left the truck, went westbound, which went upward also, and I ended up in something that looks a little bit like this. I gotta watch my step here, I won't fall back, and it's maybe 100, 200 feet down. That's Rio on behind me, I just gotta get to it. That is where I need to get to somehow. Westbound. So we'll see. I gotta go down and up somehow. <sighs> Hurricane. That's a lot. Well, I hacked my way through tall grasses for a while. Hot. They're sharp. And I thought I was gonna get to a creek that would feed into the Rio on. But I'm clipped out again. It's way down there. I have to fight my way back and see uh, if I can do this in a decent time. Uh, I'm not going very far, but I'm definitely killing the time. It's 12:30 now. Seriously, I only like four hours to play, so I'll keep moving. All right. Well, all that westbound exploration didn't work. It's just too steep and thick and grassy and ugly and rocky to get to the Rio on direct west from the Pine Ridge. So I want to try to go around, find a way down close to what's called Pinole Creek, P-I-N-O-L, Pinole Creek. And it's another kilometer upstream. But I've got the truck parked right here. That's where the camera is set. And I'm just going to see what happens if I just rock hop for a kilometer or two. See if that's navigable the other way. See you in a couple hours. Well, I did it again. I think I'm clipped out. Totally clipped out. Uh, I don't think this Pinal Creek is a route to get to Rio on. That goes way down into abyss, and I can't get down there. Man, you just can't see the bottom down there. It's got to be at least a couple hundred feet. That's exciting. Except for my expedition. I'm stuck. I gotta go home now. But it's pretty. Granite, granite rock faces actually instead of limestone, high and dry, conifer forest instead of broadleaf. As you can see, where the conifer forest touches the broadleaf, the bottom of the valley, one side pine ridge, other side rock of preserve, jungle. I'm glad I've been practicing rock climbing. It's been giving me the confidence to grab stuff and go up. My hands are a little bit stronger than they were months ago. Thank goodness. Facing south toward the Maya Mountains. See, those are probably twice as high as where we're at over here, if I remember the map correctly. Down the ravine there is Rio on Creek. Even farther west this way is the McCall River and better and Belize Eco Village, two kilometers. That's it. I'm getting closer. I uh, found a route westbound and it's somewhat navigable. It's kind of grassy, kind of open. It just gets steep here pretty soon. But I see Rio Juan down there. It's just a matter of getting to it. Um, I'm just trying to find the cleanest route there so I can do it again and bring in people. And so it's not so tricky. So I really enjoy this forest though. It's open granite and grasses and, and pine trees and very wispy pine trees. Here on the high ground, you can just hear the wind. Yes, last hundred meters to Rio on Creek. So be very cautious. Grasses and things slither in it. Could be an annoyance. I can see the rocks. Nice, nice. There we 
they are right here. We bushwhack and all that. Let's see what this water looks like. Check it out. Here we are, Yuan. The other side of this territory, right across the bank, less than two kilometers to our jungle house, better in Blue Beacon Village, in the Vaca Forest. I'd say that this is navigable by pack craft, if you're willing to get in and out of it every once in a while. One day. All right, got to the river. Let's get out of here.